Hey guys, I wanted to uh, give you guys a really quick tutorial for how you can turn on and off layers and re-export the site plan from AutoCAD. Um, I noticed that nobody is using a site plan that has the survey turned on in the background, and I think that that information can be really useful to you at this stage in the site analysis. So um, I, I wanted to kind of give you an opportunity to test out AutoCAD for yourselves. This is gonna be very, very simple and straightforward. So I'm using AutoCAD LT. Um, if you have the full version of AutoCAD, your workspace might look a little bit different from mine. Um, but if you want it to look similar, you can just cycle through this little button here. This should be visible on, on everybody's workspace. Um, if you click it, it's just going to cycle through a different way of displaying all of the tabs and information. So just keep clicking it until you see all of these um, tabs kind of pop out with their icons. I just find it easier to uh, work when I can see all the tools. I have my layer manager docked to the side here, but if you don't have yours docked, you can just click on this layers, layer properties, um, and that should bring it up. Um, you can always dock something by clicking on this little arrow, which will uh, activate the show and hide um, feature. So I have mine so that it, it activates when I hover over it and then it hides when I hover away. So I'm gonna go into my layers palette here and you can see all of the layers in the file listed. Um, it's very similar to Rhino. So I'm going to actually turn off uh, some of the layers. For example, the H, which stands for hatch, I'm gonna turn off that. I'm going to turn off um, the text and dimension layers. I'm also going to turn off this site boundary layer here and then uh, what I'm left with is basically the empty site plan. And then I'm going to turn on the survey. And that gives us all of the survey information that we can see in the background here. Um, now, there is some conflicting um, contour information. So it's up to you if you would like to also turn the contours off just so that it's not super confusing. There's two contour layers. There's one for every fifth contour and then there's one for all of the in-between contours. So I'm going to turn off both of those um, because these are the most accurate contours from the survey. And uh, then really all you need to do is go down to this little tab here. This, these are the um, the exports that I have already set up. So if we go to Columbia Park Site Plan 250, this is the 1 to 250 site plan. And everything should be all set up for you here. Um, the only thing that you might have to do is add the plot style which is being used. Um, so if we right click here and we go to uh, plot, up here in the plot style table, you should see something that says PW-LH. This is the plot style that I have assigned to this um, drawing so that it displays the line weights properly. If you don't see this, just press cancel and go to styles manager. Just click uh, write styles manager. Now, wherever you, this is gonna open up where all of your plot styles are located already on your computer. If you don't see this here, basically all you need to do is copy it over from the, from the zip file that the drawing came with. Um, you should find in one of the folders called plot styles, you should see this PW-LH. You can just copy it right into this folder and then just close it and you should be able to access it in your plot styles manager. So once you have that done, uh, we can right click and go plot and everything else should be um, pretty much the same as what you see here. But if you're not seeing this, make sure that you have uh, DWDG to PDF selected as your uh, plotter. Basically, it's just telling us we want to take this DWG and turn it into a PDF, but we're not associating it necessarily with Adobe. Um, this makes it so that it's more compatible with all different softwares. Your paper size you should see as a 2A0. Um, that's a double size A0 page. And this uh, scale should look like this. Um, so I, if, if it doesn't look like this, maybe give me a message and let me know and I can help you guys uh, figure out what's going wrong. But um, basically your, all of your settings should look just like this and you can click OK. Select a place to save your file. Um, I will just save it to the desktop and I'm gonna get rid of some of the extra stuff here and click Save. 
And now um, it's opening up my file and I can see now that I have all of the survey information with the detailed curbs, um, trees, and everything else included in my file. Um, yeah, so that's how you uh, export your drawing um, with the survey in the background. And I think that that will be really important as you keep going with your site plans.